Welcome back to the Bourbon Barkeep. Curtis. Noah, great to see you guys again. I'm well, happy you say your name because I just can never remember. I was going to say, yeah, it seems like you're kind of waiting for me to kind of take over at that point. What episode are we on? I am still counting. This is probably, if I had to guess, probably 12 or 13. Are we counting the first little four-minute introduction we did at the very beginning uh, to make everyone that, aware? Episode-wise, I feel like you count it. Okay, so probably like 13 if I had to guess. What do we got today? We got Perilous. I've been waiting on this one for a little while. I've been sitting on it, if you will. This is uh, one that the marketing of Peerless, not that they have commercials by any means, mm -hmm. they just have that intriguing bottle with kind of the old school label that's just enough to where every time I walked by, I'm like, I want to buy that bottle. Mm -hmm. But at, I want to say it's 80 MSRP now, um, I just couldn't pull the trigger. Sure. I was lucky enough... Um, Found it in a Costco. Reflex there. As you should. Um, <laughs> All the they, coupons. They had this thing two months ago, I think, is probably when I picked this up for $55. How big of a bag of coffee did you buy? At Costco? It's oh, three be. pounds every single time I go. Easily. Yeah. Does it come in the burlap? No. Uh, that would be actually kind of a, a better touch for sure. I didn't need to yeah. call Kirkland about that. But One yeah. Day. Um, yeah, they'll get to it. So, peerless wise, mm -hmm. we got some fun stuff. Um, okay. They're old. So uh, Henry Craver was the original kind of distiller of the peerless spirits. Um, obviously, Prohibition, the war kind of took a tax on them. So they did go, you don't say. They did go under. Yeah, you don't bit. say. Um, did make a killing having a medicinal license to distribute bourbon. But still the war won, apparently. The war beat a lot of people. Peerless has actually stayed in the family at this point. So Corky and Carson their great grandfather was Henry Craver. So they essentially wanted to keep it in the family. Mm -hmm. um, they bought new property, but in a great marketing move, they went after the DSP 50. So for those that don't know, what does that mean? Is that basically saying that out of all of, you know, the history of Kentucky, they're the 50th entity that's able to you know, sell alcohol? Someone in the comments is going to go through the entire history, but that's essentially how I understood it. Okay. So these guys are DSP 50, and uh, that's what they went after. So they are actually sweet mashed, like our friends at Switchgrass. So if you remember, you had the sour mash, where, think about it, like a sourdough bread, to where they leave a little bit of the residue in there. Mm -hmm. um, it makes it easier to replicate your mash bill. And then the sweet mash, they actually clean everything, sterilize everything, clean everything. Just a lot of work. So there's a lot more work and a lot more room for air mm -hmm. as well. This is actually non-chill filtered as well. Um, so I'm kind of curious what the mouthfeel is on it. And this is actually, um, well, I guess, you know, I'll leave a, a couple other pieces. And, Maybe uh, fit it in organically. I'm going to fit it in organically because yeah. I feel like I need. You need the drink in your hand, huh? Yeah. Okay. To you guys, to Peerless. To you all. Been looking to forward you. to this one for a while, man. Yeah. You've had it in the, in the stack for a while. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. That's what you want the nose to be. There's, uh... There's, what are you going with? Like, there's tobacco. This is a great cigar bourbon. Yeah. Yeah, it has that dryness, earthiness of the tobacco. Mm-hmm. You do get some leather, but somehow I still get... Like a, like a red fruit, almost like a strawberry. Yeah. Like there's a sweetness ripe like a cherry, red fruit. Cherry, strawberry. Yeah, I got you. I'm going to go. I'll wait no longer. Do it. There's still, there's something in there that's bothering me that I can't smell. Oh, wow. That's really good. Tobacco even like fuller, stronger. Yeah. Like all that's there. Yeah, Great the, mouthfeel. The tobacco keeps coming. I mean, it's still going down. Mm -hmm. This is a very full-bodied... Uh, this is a winter bourbon. And yeah, man, I, I go, just get all the tobacco. I'm going, it's like I'm chewing on the end of a cigar. Andy's Mint. That's where I'm at right now. I don't know what that you is. You have that dark chocolate with the middle mint. Oh, okay. and you get it leaving Olive Garden. I'm with you now. Okay. Yep. It's in the right nostril hard. Man, really good. Yeah. Yeah. The sweetness doesn't 
fully translate to my palate. Like it goes very tobacco, leather, maybe cedar. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not getting the caramel, butterscotch to where not my flavor profile, but it's very complex in a good way. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot to unpack, if you will. Yeah. Well, speaking of unpacking, let's do it. Let's grid. Do, what am I unpacking? Just numbers? Just sure. Like, just like basically <laughs> unpack your thoughts, more or less, oh, okay. in a, in a mm -hmm. verbal fashion. All righty. All right. So, Peerless. Peerless. I like the name. It's like uh, I stand alone. I stand among no one. All right. So once again, four categories. Starting off with senses, this is the most heavily weighted category at 50%. This is basically an all-encompassing nose, palate. Uh, I bring mouthfeel into this as well. Um, yeah. And then moving into it factor, this is really subjective. As we said before, you can take this as how unique is the bourbon. Three months from now, you're going to remember what that tastes like. Um, the history plays a large part into this for me. If they have kind of a... Um, cool backstory like, like we've done Remus probably a month ago now at this point close to it yeah they had a great kind of narrative backstory as mm -hmm. to how George Remus became about so that plays into it factor for me I don't know about for you but pure mood sure pure mood. did you have it, a good day it, it, yeah okay we'll see if you had a great day then Pierce is gonna score well 30 <laughs> <laughs> and then we move into category three which is hug another word for finish um how does the bourbon wrap up you know, does it change as on its way down and as far as you notes go? Does it mm -hmm. last a long time or is it pretty shallow up for interpretation as well? You kind of, you know, go in the direction you want there, I feel like, with hugs. Just try and guide people. Sure, right. And then last but not least, uh, and arguably almost as important as senses, bang for the buck. What the bottle costs, how does it, uh, you know, how does it kind of stack up there as far as, you know, quality to price goes? Yeah. All right. Well done. That was, I feel like I kind of nailed that. Yeah. I mean, it took you 10 episodes, but ultimately. Like, I'm, I'm there now. Like, that felt good off this the tongue. Is a sweet spot. Mm -hmm. All right. So, senses, it, hug, bang for the buck. Obviously, starting with senses. What do you got, man? I wanted to revisit one more time. Mm -hmm. You um, still have, I mean, you probably got half of Glencairn left. Feel free. Empty yeah. that thing, you know? Oh. I mean, there will be sips taken. At this sure, time. yeah. Empty that thing. Um, love the nose. Very complex. It's not unapproachable if you were new. In terms of nose, really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Mouth, in terms of taste, not my flavor profile, but still complex. Good mouthfeel. It was there for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go 60 it seems low. I want to do 65. It's definitely not a 70. That does seem low. I'm going to go 62. This is my first time. Yeah. 62. Branch off from that multiple yeah. of five. Okay. Yeah. Go 62. 62. Okay. Um, this is the definite. If I'm that torn, sure. it's a 62. I'll be higher than you um, because I like I haven't had a ton of that tobacco note mm -hmm. in my bourbon career, if you will. Okay. Um, so that's pretty new, and I enjoy it for sure. So the nose, get that tobacco immediately kind of builds into the palate and I really enjoyed the mouthfeel as well. I kind of immediately coated the mouth, mm -hmm. stayed for a long time. So I'll go 70. I'm not going to get you. crazy with it, but like I really enjoyed it, you know. Good for you. So I'll go 70. All right, so it factor. This is a lot of mood. I love the marketing. Mm -hmm. To have a a bottle on the shelf that I constantly want to buy. Mm -hmm. But the it factor, the DSP 50 uh, bringing it back to the family, yeah, there's their some... own stuff. I need to give credit where credit's due because right. some of they don't outsource. I personally ding MGP, not crazy, but so it has a pretty good it factor to it. I'm gonna give it seventy. I wanted to go five. I'm go seventy-two go 70. again, man. No, they're the bottles fantastic. The marketing is mm -hmm. great. Um, so they definitely get something. I'm going to go 70 with a little it factor. Okay. So kind of to build off of you, um, like, you know, DSP 50. Like there's some historical value. There's some prestige. There's some 
you know, legend, if you will. Like, it's a long history here. Yeah. Um, and like you said, the bottle's beautiful. <clears throat> People know the name. I'm going to go 72. I'm going to kind of copy a, a page out of your book. I, I felt it like it's 70 seems a little low to me, and I don't think 75 is adequate, so I'm going to go 72. I respect it. I mean, it's not a gimmick bottle either, which is no, really it's cool. it's kind of cool. It's just simple enough mm -hmm. to where I really respect it. Sure. So I'm going to go 70. Okay. Cheers. On to, uh, on to hug. This is a great hug. It is. Give me yours. I'm going to punt it back to you, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one more hug. The, yeah, this is like a warm, like, you know, I've kind of referenced this a couple times now. This is a holiday bourbon for me. Mm -hmm. The tobacco, the cigar, there's a warmness to it. It's not necessarily, you know, 130 proof. It's not crazy hot. Man, but there's it, so much it, tobacco. It's, there's just a lot of different notes that kind of lead you to think it's a little bit heavier than it is. Mm-hmm. So this is a great holiday bourbon. This is kind of like, you know, your extended family's coming into the kitchen, arrive Tuesday night, maybe for Thanksgiving oh, break. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you just, you know, you're excited to see everybody. Maybe it's been two, three years. I like that. You know, you got a great smelling Tuesday night dinner in the oven. Mm -hmm. You know, you're probably going to go out both meals the next day because obviously Thursday Thanksgiving is obviously, pretty yeah. taxing on everyone. Sure. But Tuesday night, you know, there's generally a pretty decent uh, dinner in the oven. Something's, you know, smelling good, mm -hmm. ready to be uh, taken out and, and enjoyed. So. That's the kind of hug it is for me. I'm going to go 70. I'm, I don't think I can go higher than that, but I'm going to go 70. It's just a great score. And that's what I feel like I just described in terms of a nice holiday extended family embrace. I sure. feel like that's right in there because I have the visual in my mind. Mm -hmm. We're a cigar we've, smoking we've done family. That. We've done that, yeah. Yeah, we're a cigar smoking family, and this is the definition of, I'm not going to bring it to the campfire, but I have a cigar in my future, mm -hmm. and I just want to dabble in that tobacco. Yeah. Because the tobacco is so pronounced. It gives you the tingle on the tongue mm -hmm. in not a hot way. Like, it just it does a really great job. And I'm going to go 75. You brought me back to a memory. Wow, okay. Yeah. This brings me back to a little bit of memory. I'm going to go 75. Cheers. Yeah. Last but not least, bang for the buck. Um, and like I said, this is... Kind of subjective because we don't know what this costs in every state around the country. Well, and everybody's budget's different. Sure. Is the problem. Yeah. So, so like, I found it. I mean, I found it 55, but I'm certainly not going to grade it that way because I won't be able no. to find that outside of Costco. So when we do the real, I'm going to put 80. I mean, that's, that's where I, okay. I see it. 79.99 everywhere I go. Um, easy to find. Mm -hmm. So availability, I know we took out. It is pretty easy to find. Yeah. Everywhere. If it's at Costco. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's... It's just about everywhere at sure. that point. Yeah. Um, All right. So at eighty dollars, you walk into a store, you have mm -hmm. ninety in your pocket. I'm going to go forty-five. I'm going to go. It's complex. You have to really like tobacco. If you don't like cigars, it may not be for you. Yeah. Um. I mean, I understand you're doing fun things. It is barrel proof. Um, it has some fun stuff, but ultimately. There's other $65, $70 bottles that I would buy over this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go 45 I'm going to dock it a little bit. So I'll tally him up. We'll tally him up. I'm not trusting you with this math alone. You're math, math hard. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. All right. So we did math. Mm -hmm. we had, with some help. We had kind of a, an interesting discussion. I'm going to bring it back to this table. Because part of what we wanted this channel to be is something that gives you all an idea of good bourbons, but bang for the buck. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to sit there and try the Pappy, and you're going to score it 90s and 100s across the board, that bang for the buck at $2,500 should be 10 Sure. So it gives, it gives room for others. To stand up. Yeah. So my total score was 61.4 with all the algorithm and all the fun stuff mm -hmm. taking into it. I was a 64.7, I believe. So right. a touch higher than you and largely due to I gave an extra five on the bang for the buck. To me, mm -hmm. that tastes like an $8 bottle and that's kind of why it's set perfectly average Yeah. to each their own. But um, yeah, both of us definitely like had this probably really, really high. And then we started talking about the fact that it's 80 bucks. Yes. And it started going down and down and down our list. We've done, like we talked about at the beginning, 12, 13 bottles at this point. And it, if that's $60, it's probably third or fourth on my list. And it's probably sixth or seventh because it's 80 bucks. Anyways, so you had 
tough luck. Right, so to recap last week, I gave out two plays last week. We had Ohio State minus three, which it, it's funny. It looked great the entire game until about mm -hmm. six minutes left. And then we were dead. And then we somehow, like, snagged a Get push. Back. Snagged yes. a push with, like, a second left. They kicked an extra point to, get, to grab a three-point lead, and we had minus mm -hmm. three on Ohio State. So we pushed there. No harm done. No. We enjoyed a wonderful game with money on the line. Yeah. And, no uh, one lost the house. No one lost anything. Yeah. Um, and then we went to the NFL teaser yet again. We had been 1-0 with teasers so far this year mm -hmm. and visited um, the Ravens, who got beat at home by the Colts. Back and Gardner up QB. Not great look. No. And then the Jaguars, dude, what's going on with the Jags? Dude, Trevor. The hype train was full force. They got basically trounced. Like, they lost by, like, two, three scores. I don't remember the exact score, but it was like a two-score game the entire second half. They got so, weapons. It's unexcusable. Yeah. This point. So, 0-1-1, and one and one, we're basically 1-3 and three on the year, um, down a couple units. It's uh, It's been tough sledding thus far. It's hard betting into a saturated market yeah. like the NFL. Um, but we need to find edges, and that's my job. And uh, we're going to write the ship. The people are here. We're going to write the ship right here. Going back to college. Okay. Have you seen Oklahoma play this year? No. They no, are my, an absolute juggernaut. As the the dads out there know, they need bluey time on Saturday so they can have dad time on Sunday. Mm. So, no. See, no that's, okay, college. fair enough. So, I mean, as you, if you guys see, I'm quite you, possibly just as big a college football fan as I am the NFL. You look like Rob Lowe at this point. Just I need the NFL, NFL. hat. <laughs> I need the NFL. <laughs> that's awesome. But, yeah, so Oklahoma this year has been absolutely fantastic. Um They've covered, I believe, their 4-0 and with their record and also against the spread, their 4-0. They just demolish teams. They look absolutely fantastic. They're playing Iowa State as 19.5, 20-point favorites. It's high. It's high. Ohio Iowa State really has nothing to offer. Rocco Becht is a plug-and-play starter for the year because their previous quarterback got caught gambling. Well, let me ask you, have you checked the weather? Because Bama came back and, and bit us on the weather. I have checked the weather. No hurricanes. Okay. No That's hurricanes in the Midwest, I don't think. If there's tornadoes mm -hmm. kind of popping up, then I'm just going to take another L. At that point, God's against I you. I was going to say, at that point, <laughs> we're going to retire the Lock of the Week segment. But um, <laughs> All right. Losing record right now? Mm-hmm. You ready to lock it in, or do you want to? We have to lock it in, do yeah. Do you want to tip your toe around? I need to play, yeah. And I love Oklahoma minus 20. They got to roll. That's up to you. I'm not doing it. Make my own sound effect. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> but um, batteries are in this thing. <laughs> so, yeah. So, lock of the week, Oklahoma minus 20. Um, feel free to fade me. If you are doubting my ability to pick winners, then that's perfectly fine at this point because I'm one and three. However, I'd like to write the ship and make you a loser if you're going to fade me. So That's true. At that point, I want to see you lose your house. Sure. At that point, you're going to bet against me. Joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. Like, subscribe. Oh, yeah, there you go. Comment. Like, subscribe, comment. Just, you know, keep following along. We are enjoying ourselves at the very least, so that's kind of what matters. That is the very least at this point. To you all. Cheers. To you all.